in a dry and desolate habitation, provision and protection take on creative forms. From dearth, life stirs, and from perceived nothingness, much emerges. Hi, I'm Miguel Caldera. And I'm Kaya. And today, we're looking at the Desert Millipedes. The millipede is a fascinating creature. It begins its life with only six body segments, and adds a segment with each mold. So why are these creatures called millipedes? Because they have a thousand legs. That's, that's what it sounds like. The Latin word milli means a thousand, and ped means feet. And it certainly looks like these little guys have a thousand feet. But in fact, on record, the most they've ever counted is 750. But if you look up close, who wants to count? So what I like about these is that they can live up to 15 to 20 years, which is very long for a um, bug, because bugs don't li um, live very long. So, they're good for pets. So tell us a little bit about where these creatures live. They live well, most of the time they live underground. Well, if they live underground, why are they out right now? Because the rainy season comes and it makes the ground um, soft, wet, and that's why they come out. All right. What do they eat? They eat decaying plant matter like this. All right, so they like to eat rotten vegetables, huh? Mm-hmm. Interesting. And do they have any type of uh, predators? What, what, what creatures would like to eat these, do you know? Well, it's very interesting. You wouldn't think a box turtle would eat these, but yeah, they do. Yeah, they're prey for turtles and birds. Uh, skunks and other rodents would delight to eat these. So what are they going to do to protect themselves? And I guess there's one example. Um, but that's not very fast. What do they do to protect themselves when something does try to eat them? Well, there's one method of pooping on the person, uh, on its predator and curling up. And it also um, squeezes out this... Um... It's a toxic chemical yeah. that they secrete from the pores in their bodies. And curling up like that helps them to protect their soft undersides. They have this hard exoskeleton, which is even difficult for the box turtle, if you remember that episode, to break through. And so this is one defense. They stand there, or not they stand there, but they curl up really tight so that whatever's trying to eat them has to break through their exoskeleton. And if that doesn't work, they start to secrete this chemical which tastes bad and smells bad in an attempt to get away. Its defenses compensate for its lack of speed. So tell me, Kaya, do you know the difference between 
a centipede and a millipede? Well, the millipede is more round and the centipede is more flat. That's right. Now, why is a centipede called a centipede? Because it has 100 legs. Again, that's the Latin name, right? Cent mean 100, pede meaning feet. And just like the millipede, it doesn't have the amount of feet that it says. They only have about 70, but still, who wants to count? <laughs> and you're right, the millipede can be told because of its roundish body, where the centipede has a much flatter body. In both species, the tail end looks a lot like the head end, but the millipede is much more fun to play with because it doesn't have a big pincher at the front, which is very painful, like the centipede. So one of the, another cool thing about these is that when you hold them, their feet really tickle on your hand. Without the millipede, beautiful desert landscapes would be overrun with dead plants and animals. Its specialized diet and lifestyle provide the needed sanitation for spectacular scenery. The Desert Millipede. Until next time, I'm Miguel Caldera. And I'm Kaya. Get out and enjoy your hunt for nature. These interesting little creatures are far from simple and their lives are as intricate as their bodies. They remind me of the words of the wise man. A prudent man foresees danger and protects himself, but the foolish pass by and are punished. We can learn much from these little arthropods' ability to make provision for difficulties.